Everybody look out. The pit cruiser is... <laughs> Hello out there, we're on the air, and the first time here in Winston All-American Series history, it's race day here in the Irish Hills of Brooklyn, Michigan. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the first race of the WAS, the Winston All-American Series here, a new series on the North American Sim Racing Network We welcome you to the Michigan International Speedway for stop number one of 15 here in the WAS, the UAW 4200. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, from high above the track in the press box. My name is Trey Wright, and ladies and gentlemen, we have got one heck of a show for you in store today. 42 cars ready to do battle for 30 laps around this two-mile D-shaped oval in the Irish Hills of Michigan. It's a brand new series here on the North American Sim Racing Network. Once again, a big thank you to everyone who signed up for this. But that was then, this is now, it's time for these guys to do battle on the racetrack. And yeah, it's a brand new series and not a whole lot of storylines to go off of in the first race. But we got some returning guys from the Mission Barbecue Cup series like Eric Monaco, Nathan Stapleton, Juan Rodriguez, Owen Miles, uh, and then some new faces, Christian Brashwalski, Wa uh, um, Donnie Fallington who won the New Year's 500, Lucien Bianchi, <coughs> Skylar Taylor, Caleb Rose, who's a returning MBCS driver, and then Samet Oskin, who is making his NRJ th uh, NR 2003 de uh, re-debut, his debut here on the channel. Surprisingly, no Zachary Fitzwater in this, but it's Alex Lozano's back, Josh Harmon's a new driver, Will Parrish is back, even Bradley Ream and Chris Reynolds are back here on the racing surface here in the North American Sim Racing Network. But without further ado, we've got enough names. You're going to see everybody in the starting lineup. But before we get to the starting lineups, let's go down trackside and fire the engines for the inaugural race in Winston All-American Series history here at the Michigan International Speedway. Drivers, start your engines! The engines roar to life on the pit lane here at Michigan. We're ready to do battle here with all 42 cars coming to life. Starting lineup on the left-hand side of your screen. Pole sitter number 35 of Caleb Rose. Starting alongside him is Donnie Fallington in the 65. Correction, Danny Fallington. And then row two, Logan Alexander and Lucian Bianchi. Row three, Dylan Matthews in the 44. Alongside him is Josh Harmon in the 17. And behind them, it's Peter Rushwalski in the 38 and Jeff Vincent left in the 90. And then John Andrews making his return in the 55 alongside him. Will be the number 10, or the number 96 of Alex Santival. So as the field goes down the back straight away, get your race analysis. 30 lap race, no pit window, just straight racing to the end. <coughs> Obviously, no previous winners here at, uh, in the WAS. Got 18 degrees, degrees of banking around this two mile oval. All the fun stuff here, and it should be a fun race here. A fun opening race in the Winston All-American Series, but the pace car gonna make the hard left-hand turn down the pit lane. Caleb Rose and Danny Fallington will lead the field to the green flag of the first time ever. The Winston All-American Series is green in Michigan. Didn't take long for them to go three wide as down to the inside goes Peter Roshwalski. John Andrews right behind him. Dylan Matthews is nearly made four wide there by the 26 of Cole Sampson. Off turn four. They are four wide already. John Andrews making it four abreast, but it's going to be Caleb Rose who will lead the first lap in WAS series history. 
Got some scraping back in there. There's a 99 of Owen Miles fighting with Nathan Orman, who's driving the 88 machine, patterned after the initial paint scheme of Cal Naughton Jr. in Talladega Nights. Got a mixture of custom schemes and Team SBR custom cars, or fictional cars rather. All throughout the field, here comes the number 27 machine. That is Lucien Bianchi making her debut here on the channel. Already lap three of 30, and here comes the 31 down to the inside. It's Logan Alexander in the Chickies and Pete's car. He will pass Caleb Rose with a first lead change here in Winston All-American Series history. Meanwhile, they're bottling it up a ton back here. So they're going three wide back in the pack. There's Samet Ozkin, like we said, making his NASRN debut, and they are four wide off the corner. I don't know if they're going to be able to hold it straight. Remember, if you watch the New Year's 500, that race was caution free. So on the channel, we have yet to have a caution in 2024. That might change as Rich Roy got into the outside wall in the number 22. There's still four wide in the back of the pack. Meanwhile, going back up to the front, still double file for the majority of it. But Caleb Rose back in the race lead. Like we always said, it's not a race here on the North American Sim Racing Network without us missing a pass for the race lead and Caleb Rose will lead us to the completion of lap number four of 30. <coughs> Got 15 races on the docket in this little mini series here for the Winston All-American Series. It's a great run there through the corner for Logan Alexander getting bumped after there by Danny Fallington. Got North Wilkesboro up next in just a couple of days. Rose gonna get hung out to dry as Fallington road goes up the hill. That'll open up the door for Vincent left. But we got North Wilkesboro in five days and after that is Papyrus, then Homestead, then Talladega for the first third of the season. Vincent left, sporting the same base scheme as Matt Wolf did in the Mission Barbecue Cup Series. Meanwhile, been a calm race so far, which given the racing we tend to see here at Michigan, it's a bit surprising we haven't had a massive wreck just yet, knock on wood though. But Caleb Rose continues to lead. Logan Alexander right behind him. A couple of stalwarts from the MBCS. Fallington, Vincent left, and Dylan Matthews round out your top five. A couple of new faces. There's Josh Harmon, the 17. We already mentioned Bianchi. And Peter Roshwalski. There's Toby Murphy in the number 69 machine. Cole Sampson, we've seen a lot of him. Meanwhile, pass for the lead as Logan Alexander and Caleb Rose continue to swap the lead lap after lap. Three wide goes Vincent left down to the inside. Remember Michigan, this specific Michigan track has about three or four different grooves. So it's not uncommon to see these bonsai type passes for the race lead and for positions in general. But as Alexander back to the point, Rose still in second, but he might lose that to Fallington who goes down to the inside. Back in through here is Roy Ribbleton. First time he's been in an actual series on the NASRN. There's Roberto Crown Jr. making his return. We'll get through everybody's name as they go three wide for the race lead once again. File it down to two wide, but it's a drag race down the back straight away as Fallington through the middle. Now Vincent Left will shoot the gap. Or rather bomb it to the inside. It's Fallington who's shooting the gap. But remember, no pit stops in this one. Yes, I made sure of that. That's at the line of dead heat but Alexander was able to get it. But no pit stops in this one, it's just a race to the end. A 30 lap mad dash and that's pretty much 
going to be the distance for almost every single race in the WAS this season. But it's set to be a fun one. Just a little bit of commentary work on my part. Is they're going to go three wide for second again? Murphy moves high. Nearly cleaned out Matthews. Who rounds out your top five right now. But it's a beehive of activity towards the front of the field. And these guys battling. It's just going to allow everybody to move on up. I already mentioned Ribbleton as Josh Harmon goes a little wide. He's able to control that Exxon Dodge Charger. Some more new faces in the 62. We've got Kasumi Takashi. Down below her in the 16 is Alex Lozano, like we were talking about. Nearly got squarely up there with 73 of Brian Ferris. He's able to retain his position, but now the top three starting to pull away as the tire wear starts to come into effect. And it's Fallington who will go to the race lead here on lap 12 of 30. And bringing up the rear is Nathan Stapleton in the five. Who started in 35th, so he's already down seven spots. Oh, three wide. That nearly didn't work as Bianchi shot the gap between Vincent Leff and Matthews. to be three wide as Vincent left loses some positions down on the inside three car breakaway for the top spot Fallington Rose and Alexander those have been your three dominant cars of the day so far though still got a long ways to go and a short time to get there as Rose will go down at the inside of Fallington Danny will just beat him out by a fender to the line. Oh, and shooting the gap is Logan Alexander. Can it get there? Goes up the hill, nearly cleans the 65's clock. That was about six inches away from turning the 65. And if he right or left reared the 65, he was going to turn Caleb Rose into the outside wall and he was going to Dale Earnhardt him. Obviously, rest in peace to the Intimidator. Rose will beat Fallington to the line. We're nearly halfway through the inaugural race in the Winston All-American Series. A caution-free race so far, but not action-free. Here comes Alexander again, but just can't get to the quarter panel of Fallington. Danny moves down low, trying to get the suck off the 35's rear bumper. That'll bring in the 27. Oh, Bianchi had to get out of the gas. Matthew's trying to move to the outside of her. These cars have grip all over the racetrack, but the tire wear starting to come into play as it's officially cross flags halfway home in the UAW 4200. And it's been these top three in this race so far that have led all the laps. Logan Alexander as Bianchi nearly walks up the hill again. Sporting the Chickies and Pete's Philadelphia Eagles colors. Fallington and Rose, both with Team SBR Customs. Fallington moves down to the inside and he will take the race lead away from Caleb Rose. We'll do a full field rundown real quick. So we try to get to everybody. There's Matthew Hubert making his debut. There's the 82 of Tristan Roshwalski trying to find where Peter is as the 98 machine of Brad Stover almost gets into the 37. We've seen that a couple of times from everybody. Everybody moving strong so far as the battle for last. Actually, no, it's Nathan Stapleton who's back in there. No mechanical issues for anybody. As it's Fallington who takes the race lead away. 
Closing in on 10 laps to go, already Fallington powering through the outside lane will get a big run, but Rose will get an even bigger run. Off the corner, Fallington will lead with 12 to go. We got some contact in the back as somebody was hitting the outside wall. Couldn't tell who it was as they'll go four wide for a split second. They'll file it back down as that was nearly chaos as Trey Smith nearly washed up into the 96 of Santaval. Again, if I'm mispronouncing anybody's names, just let me know, uh, know down in the comments section. Be well appreciated if I know how to accurately pronounce all of your guys' names, but 11 laps to go. Rose right on the back bumper of Fallington. The Fallington family looking to go two for two in 2024. Rose trying to spoil the party. Roy Ribbleton making it up to, uh, to second place in the 95 machine. Down to the inside goes Rose. Ribbleton will go underneath Alexander as I think he's used up a lot of his stuff. 10 to go at the line for Donnie Fallington. Danny Fallington, excuse me. I don't know why I keep getting those two mixed up. No matter how many races I do, but Rose will peek down to the inside. These two going side by side will open up the door for Roy Ribbleton. Ribbleton with a draft off Fallington. Bianchi right behind him. Uh, Ribbleton had to get out of the gas. That'll open the door. No, it won't for Bianchi. As she will fall back a little bit. Ribbleton, who started this race back in the 16th spot, has made his way up to third. Fastest lap belonging to Roy Ribbleton. No surprise there of how he's been able to dice his way through this pack. And if anybody's curious, the point system remains the same as for the Mission Barbecue Cup Series. 200 points for the winner. 190 for second place, all, uh, descending all the way down to 42nd, which gets one point. We've got bonus points for laps led, the most laps led, the fastest lap. And for the races, we have pit stops, the fastest four tire pit stop will be coming into play. Fallington back down to the inside. Not able to quite get there as Logan Alexander will make this a four car breakaway for the race lead. Continue to check on the rest of the field, but looks like it's pretty tame back in the back. Whole field within 10 seconds of one another. Seven laps to go here for Michigan already as it's Caleb Rose who's back out front. The way these guys are racing, we might have a photo finish at the line. Ribbleton now up to second. Again, I believe he's saved up a lot of his stuff to be able to fight for this race lead, but everybody now on old tires. Just slip sliding away, the grip is starting to go. Six to go, Ribbleton right on the back bumper of Caleb Rose. He's been the dominant car all day long and with six circuits to go, he's moving down to the inside of the 35. Drag race down the back, here we go. Meanwhile, don't count out these two of Fallington and Alexander. Alexander will go down to the inside of the 65. Ribbleton to the inside, not quite there. At the stripe, five, count them, five laps to go for Caleb Rose. Looking to be the first winner in the Winston All-American Series. Ribbleton trying to spoil the party. Same with Logan Alexander. Ooh, Ribbleton. Washed up just a little bit through the corner, not able to make some contact. To train of five. Coming around to four laps to go. Down to the inside goes Ribbleton. Oh, Rose had to let out of the gas, and Ribbleton is there. 
Roy Ribbleton will lead with four laps to go from the Irish Hills. Does Caleb Rose have anything left in the tank? They'll go three wide for second. Fallington backs out of it at the last second. Alexander back up to the, the, uh, the P2 spot. He's gonna have a chance. Fallington will go down to the inside. Alexander powers down. Can he get to the quarter panel of Ribbleton? Not quite. He'll have a couple of more chances to do it. Three laps to go. Next time by this race will be official. How about the 21 machine of Roberto Crown Jr. coming up as here comes Alexander back to the inside. Not quite. He'll have 10 more turns to try and get it done. But time is running out and so is the grip. Ribbleton goes wide. Here comes Alexander down to the inside. He will get there. Popsicle sticks in the air. Two laps to go. Dead heat at the line. <coughs> It'll be led by Alexander. Caleb Rose back out in front, or trying to get back out in front, rather. But this race will be official. Here comes Rose. Trying to spoil the party of Alexander. Rose had to let out of the gas. Had to let Ribbleton sneak by him on the outside lane. Alexander watching them battle behind him. White flag in the air. Two miles to go here in the inaugural race of the Winston All-American Series. I don't think anybody is going to be able to get within striking distance of this 31. Unless Ribbleton has a really good run through the corner. He's side by side with Caleb Rose for second. But this is all happening behind the 31 of Logan Alexander. Out of turns three and four. Logan Alexander, the Tampa, Florida native, wins the inaugural race in the Winston All-American Series. Logan Alexander wins the UAW 4 200. And a dead heat at the line. It was Ribbleton who will beat out Caleb Rose by a tenth of a second. But yet another caution free race here on the NASRN as Logan Alexander is going to go to Gatorade Victory Lane here in the Irish Hells of Michigan. And the Philadelphia Eagles, and the day I'm recording this, actually get a win here. With the Kelly Green number 31 machine. Ribbleton oh so close, but a heck of a run from him. But what a day for Logan Alexander. Three career wins in the Mission Barbecue Cup Series. And now a win here in the Winston All-American Series. Taking a look at your full standings. Logan Alexander is your winner here. Roy Ribbleton second, Caleb Rose, da uh, Danny Fallington, Jeff Vincent left your top five, Kasumi Takashi, Toby Murphy, L uh, Lucien Bianchi, Alex Lozano, and Roberto Crown Jr., your top ten. <coughs> Take a look and see the rest of your results. Nathan Stapleton, I don't think he lost a cylinder or anything, but he was 15 seconds off the pace. For everybody... Some cars continue to do some hot laps around the track. Probably will get black flagged. But that's going to do it here from the Michigan International Speedway. Congratulations to Logan Alexander on winning the UAW Ford 200 here at the Michigan International Speedway. And hey, you thought this was exciting? We've got 14 races to go in the Winston All-American Series. Next up, a founding track in NASCAR, in real life NASCAR at least. We go to the North Wilkesboro Speedway for what will probably be one of the more chaotic races in the Winston All-American Series. But hey, we've got tracks like Daytona, Talladega, Watkins Glen, Papyrus, Homestead, Miami, Kansas, I think, no, Kansas is not on there, but Hillside, 
went to Michigan. We're trying to get Thornton on the schedule, ladies and gentlemen. It is one heck of a season so far, and it's just beginning. But that's going to do it here from Michigan. Congratulations once again to Logan Alexander on winning the UAW 4200. That'll wrap it up here from the Irish Hills. Thank you all so much for tuning in to the first race of 15 in the inaugural season of the Winston All-American Series. Here are your points to innings after race number one and from the Michigan International Speedway. My name is Trey Wright. Have a great evening, ladies and gentlemen.